Hey guys, it's Eric Barfield with Patch Foundry. Today, I'm excited to announce we are releasing a new product. And uh, we released the Nord Stage 3 Worship Collection uh, a little while ago. And pretty much from day one, we had people writing saying, do you support the Nord Electro series? And as of today, I can write people and say, yes, we do. And we're supporting the Nord Electro 60, which is the latest model of the Nord Electro series. Um, and it, we basically built 120 patches, very similar to the Nord Stage 3 Worship Collection, but tailored around exactly what this instrument does best, which is a little different than the Nord Stage 3. Um, that's why there's 120 instead of 100 with the Nord Stage 3. Um, and, uh, yeah, I am just really excited about it. Um, it utilizes a lot of the bre bread and butter type things that you need in worship. There's a lot of pianos, um, that have been tweaked to death, organs that have been dialed in perfectly. And the sample synth has been absolutely maximized to a hundred percent of what it can do, which means... Uh, we've loaded it up with custom sampled stuff. We've we've uh, maxed out what you can do with the individual sounds from Nord. Um, I went through prop. I think <laughs> I lost count. It was like seven or eight hundred different samples that Nord offers, and hand picked just the best ones that specifically work with worship, and then tweaked and tweaked and tweaked them to get them right, and then dialed in all the effects and EQs and everything like that. So um, yeah, I'm really, really proud of this collection. And instead of me going on and on and on about it, the proof's in the pudding. Let me just have you play, or I'll play through some of these and um, you can uh, kind of hear what they sound like. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and start off today by just playing through all of the 120 patches. Yes, that's a lot. I'll try and make this as brief as possible. <laughs> um, in the Nord Electro 6D Worship Collection, I've covered everything I could possibly think to cover in um, these patches so that you never have to hunt around and try and build something from scratch uh, unless you want to. So uh, what I've done is I went through every single sound in this instrument and on Nord's website and found only the stuff that worked really well for worship. I put it in here. I deleted the rest of, of the patches that didn't fit. So there's literally nothing in here that's not going to work in some worship situation. And then I added a whole bunch of my own samples to the synth section or, or to kind of beef up some of the pads area where I felt like it was a little bit weak and uh, some of the synths um, as well. Uh, in order to make it really, really shine. So um, every single one of these patches starts with a really basic idea. You have three sections, organ, piano, sample. And I've set it up so you start with a preset and then you can turn on whatever is off and it's automatically just gonna work. It's just gonna do what you want it to do. Um, so for instance, this is the first patch, grand piano. So just a really great grand piano, Yamaha grand piano in that I've loaded the XL version onto, which is not the default. And it just sounds unbelievably good live. Um, I can just turn on the next section and it's tailored to work exactly with this specific grand piano. Same thing with the organ, turn that on. both together. Instantly this really vibrant sound. Um, and that's the philosophy, philosophy behind every single one of these presets. So um, I'm gonna go into list view mode just so we can see them all out. They're also written in uh, sequential order, meaning that all the grand pianos are together, all the uprights are together, all the electric pianos, you get the point. What that means is you can scroll through and you can kind of memorize where everything is uh, really quickly and you don't have to hunt around. It's all right here. 
um, and they're just really good jumping off spots for worship. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play through them. One last thing though, I am using an expression pedal with my right foot in order to swell in the synths and the organs section. So that'll be the case. You could just manually move them up or down if you wanted to. The other thing I'll be doing is every single one, or I'd say probably 99% of the time, the sample synth is running through the equalizer, which allows me to take this treble and, re and either reduce it or boost it. So I can make a pad darker or lighter. So that was my solution to not having a cutoff knob here. <laughs> um, okay, so first sound you use most of the time, piano. You've already heard this one, so I'll move on. Uh, grand piano, basic pad. Nothing fancy, exactly what you need sometimes. A calm pad. Choir. Again, these are all like not groundbreaking at this. They're just things you're going to need to have on a regular basis, really easy to access. Now we start to get in kind of cool stuff like this. And purposely made some of these a little quiet so that you can kind of turn them up fade them in a little bit. So here's it full blast. So there's some movement there. A Juno. been run through some stuff. <laughs> and again, organs are easy to add. And they've been tailored. This one's one of my favorites called Mass. If you put a ton of reverb on it, it sounds so huge. And again, simple pads. And then at the end of each grouping, I put a grand and an organ together. So you can kind of get back to basics. You get the idea. Um, next one up is the grand upright. Nothing to write home about, but it's just the perfect in-between. Um, upright grand piano sound to me.
range. A cello in the left hand. And by the way, if you want to switch the piano, it's so easy. All you have to do is just move your uh, left um, piano select here to the right or left, and you can change it. So like I'll move it back to the white grant. Maybe I want to do an, uh, another piano. It's that easy. Let's go back here, S string section, then I'm going to sweep in. This one's a bambino piano. This one's a short spinet model. It sounds really cool. Reminds me of growing up and going down to the church basement and playing on an upright, except this one's in tune. <laughs> the idea tape just a little out of tune this sounds like more like the basement church piano <laughs> this one I'm particularly proud of it's modeled after a cold play piano sound I heard. It has kind of this like ring on the end. You get the idea? This one, super compressed piano. Oh, sorry, that's not a worship song. Always good to have that sound. End of the section. Queen's upright. With an accordion. Mellotron. Bells. Brass. Really good for like boosting underneath a sound like. Again. This last one's uh, a mellow upright. It's so beautiful, delicate. So a lot of those kind of themes with this. Just so elegant. All right, so we're out of upright 
grand piano, we're going to electric grand, a CP70. It takes me back to the 80s and even the 70s. don't know who Kerry Livergan is, that was his sound right there. <laughs> At least live. <laughs> um, so again, not going to be for every song, but it's good to have this in your wheelhouse. If you're a gospel player, you might take off the reverb. You know, I'm no gospel player, but that's that's it. <laughs> this sounds great with a lot of reverb. I left it dry so you can add as you want. Just a subtle pad underneath, kind of holding it all together. mistakes again a little bit of a throwback there See how quickly you can build something. Almost an edge kind of delay. Wurlitzers, these are so fun. You might know it. Very cool, but you can use them in worship really well like this. It pairs great with an organ. Just really nice. This one's more aggressive. Get the idea. This one I purposely designed to be the most aggressive patch in the group. Um, so you can like do like I don't know, really hard blues or or those kind of things like this. You get the idea. So, again, not an everyday sort of thing. Definitely not an offertory. <laughs> Unless, I don't know, maybe you go to that kind of church. I don't know. So, another good pairing. You get the idea. Okay, now we're into digital grants. So, this one came out, I'm pretty sure, in the late 80s, early 90s. Very much a Kirk Franklin. I think I heard that a couple times. Gospel, 100%. Same with this one. And DX7, the classic synth from that time period. Again, not very often are you going to need that, but when you need it, you need it. Maybe 
Grant going there. Classic. Good for the gospel player, gospel player as well. combination patch of two different piano sounds. It sounds like the first piano I ever played on at a church. <laughs> Now we're into single uh, sound patches, meaning, of course, you can layer them like with a piano, but they are kind of focused on one thing, like marcato strings. And they sound really good when you use that um, expression pedal. Legato strings. Layer it with the piano. <laughs> That's not a worship song. <laughs> I know that if you grew up in youth group. Again, just a small format chamber string violins. Solo violin. Not the best, but we'll, you can pull it off in a pinch. Uh, solo cello. We already heard that one, but it sounds really good by itself. French horn. Like we talked about, it's a great foundation. Same with orchestral brass. And now we're into some gospel horns. Again, I'm not a gospel player. I don't play one on TV, but this is what they sound like. With the piano. Session horns. So yeah, in a pinch, hip hop horns. A flute for when your flautist is taking a flight. Pan pipe. Get the idea, a Celtic whistle. <laughs> um, then we got a split for when the bass player is sick or just bumming somewhere, you know? Bass players, what's up with them? So, so it might not be the most amazing thing, but you can get through service. Yeah. Slap bass for you gospel players. 
for your uh, uh, Seinfeld fans. Upright bass, left hand, keys in your right for Christmas time. fun steel player or steel guitar important difference nylon banjo harp Small bells, Christmassy. Tubular bells. Very Christmassy. Paired with the piano, this sounds pretty good. Okay. And cathedral organ for your traditional services. Another one. Accordion. Pairs well with piano. Pump organ. Choir. Mellotron. This one, <laughs> this is this one's my guilty pleasure. Uh, Strawberry Field. Yeah, I don't know if you ever use that, but I had to put it in. I just love that song. Very character-filled cello. And then that takes us to the synth section. So I built a bunch of custom synths for this, and I still feel like this is the only slightly weakish, maybe not weak, but like less than ideal spot on this whole thing. It knocks it out of the park with organ, knocks it out of the park with piano. The synths are solid. You could definitely get through, especially if you have a ton of tracks um, that are synth heavy, you're gonna be just fine with this. But it's not as deep as like say um, the, the Nord Stage 3, and it's definitely not as deep as like Main Stage would be with synths. But um, I got it to a place where I was very happy where you could get through a service with a bunch of different synths that I've sampled. This one is from Call Me Owl, uh, the classic by Paul Simon, but it works so well in worship, believe it or not. And again, I just kind of mimicked it. I didn't actually sample it, but... So you put a big hall reverb on this. Kind of get the vibe. This one's just nice, smooth. Classic Oberheim. It's kind of a plucky sort of thing. Uh, this one's a classic Juno synth that I sampled. Uh, it's just literally the waveform. June Pulse Synth. 
Again, you very rarely need this kind of thing in worship, but when you need it, you need it. Transcent, there's one song in particular. Also. You know the songs I'm talking about. I mean, they're a little older now, but you know. So pluck synth. Another pluck synth. Again, not very often. Uh, June pluck. I was getting Francis in the Light vibes from this, but there's a lot of worship music that has some of that. Again, probably it's going to be in the track, but you have it here if you need it. And that is it. That is all 120 of these. And um, yeah, that all comes with the bundle. All right. And that is all of the sounds in the Nord Electro 60 Worship Collection. And it's available today from Patch Foundry. Uh, pouchfoundry.com and then I'll put a link down below for a direct link where you can you can find that um, also one quick note before we leave the any of the samples included in the sample synth section here uh, say that three times fast <laughs> that all of those samples are compatible with the Nord piano the Nord wave and the Nord grand so you could load any of those sounds that you just heard in this video that were in that sample synth section into any of those instruments. So if, if you own one of those instruments and I haven't built a patch for you yet, there's hope. That's a good starting place for you as well if you want to get the collection. Um, if there's any other questions that you have that I didn't answer, drop a note below and I'll try my best to help. Thank you so much for your time and happy playing out.